Do you have a lawnmower with a dull blade and you would like to know how to change the blade on your lawnmower? Well, you're in luck because in this video, I'm going to show you how to change the blade on my Ego 21 inch electric lawnmower. If you want more videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and give it a thumbs up. That way the algorithm knows that you like this video and that way uh, more people will get a chance to see it as well. Also, I, I want you to know that I'll have all the links in the description for the products and the blade that I use, like the tools, the socket set, and everything I use in this video. Um, so you can click over and check those out if you need to. And thanks for watching. Now let's get into the meat of the video on changing the blade. Now I'm ready to change the blade on this lawnmower right now it's it comes from the factory with the mulching blade i do not want the mulching blade because my grass is too tall so for now i am going to switch it over to the bagging the high the high level bagging blade <clears throat> and to do that first i'm going to take the battery out so just pop this little green button up Pull the battery out, I'll put it off to the side. That's just always a good safety precaution for working with anything electronic. I can even lower these handles. I'm going to tilt it over. Yeah, it looks like it's already getting clogged up because the grass is too tall. So to do this, what I need is my socket set and also just a regular screwdriver or if you don't have a screwdriver you can use like a, a bar of some sort. There's a hole right here that's going to hold the blade. So the goal is to be taking off these three nuts right here and the sizes are 9 sixteenths and 11 sixteenths. So this is the 9 sixteenths. And as you see, when I was spinning the nut, this white piece behind here was rotating as well. And another precaution that we can take if we didn't want that to spin is there is another hole that we can put some kind of metal rod in to keep that from spinning. I don't need to do that because it's not, the nut is turning fine. on pretty tight. I want to make sure that it's not a reverse thread. It doesn't seem to be a reverse thread nut. Yeah, there it goes. It just takes a little, little muscle. If you need to, you can use some WD-40 or some other kind of silicone spray or um, lubricant. Just take your time. So all I did was after I took the middle nut out, I was able to take the whole assembly out and as you see these bolts were turning inside behind there so I was able to use my thumb and hold the bolt down um, they just lock in place now I'm gonna flip it over and do the other one I'm holding the back of it with my thumb as I turn the socket So this is the old blade that I do not want on there. 
I'm going to get the new one. And as you see, it comes with two other options. It says, it's really hard to read, but right in here, it's going to say, oh, let's see if I can get it in the shot. It's really hard to read, but there is, uh, there are some words right here. This one says extended runtime lower blade. That's not the one I want. This one here says right here bagging lower blade so I want the bagging lower blade which you can read right there I'm going to have links in the description of this video for all the tools that I use as well as replacement blades because if you need to replace the blade after you've used your model for a while, um, I will have a replacement, I will have replacement blades in there for you to check out. Just click the description down below. And to put this on, I'm lining up these two holes two bolts with these holes and as you see it, it forms kind of like an X shape. Just take the old nut, get it started by hand. These I can do without, uh, I can tighten that up without it on the assembly. It makes it a little bit easier. And then it'll just line, line up and snug on there. Put this guy back on. Okay. Be careful with working with these blades. They are sharp. If you feel like it's necessary, uh, grab some, some work gloves. That could be a really smart safety precaution. I didn't bring any out today, but if I felt like I needed them, I would have gone inside and got them. Now I can put the battery back in. Make sure it's nice and snug. You can even check how much battery life there is by pushing this power button right here. It'll tell you the power. Um, I would like to now take out the mulcher attachment. And I'm going to put on the bag. So this lifts up. There are two hooks. They hook right in on the sides. This folds back down. Now there you have it. Changing the blade on your lawnmower is just that easy. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button down below so you can see more videos like this. If you would like to uh, take a look at my blog, you can find that at castleremodel.com. And thanks for watching.